After China revealed its plan only a couple of months ago, there's been a lot of concern in the West that China is going to reshape the world. Now, they're going to reshape the world, they say, using humanoid robots. And there's, there's a lot of worry that China plans to take over the world with these humanoid robots. And what am I saying by take over the world? I mean take over manufacturing, take over the means of production, whoever controls the means of production. Well, they have the power. Here's what's going on, and here's what America is trying to do to counteract China. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This might sound a bit draconian, drastic, but I think I'm actually understating what's really going on here. If you look at China's plan that they revealed very publicly, they are willing to spend possibly trillions of dollars to own the global labor market, which is by far the biggest market worldwide. Now, China says it plans to mass produce humanoid robots that can reshape the world in China's image or to China's whims within the next 18 months. We already found out BYD and other car manufacturers are using humanoid-like robots in their car factories now to bring their cost of production down. I mean, humanoid robots, even though the Chinese workers do work for a lot less than people do in the West, it's still not uh, anywhere near as cheap as using robots. Now, China has disclosed its kind of scary plans to mass produce humanoid robots, which they say will be even more disruptive than any other technological innovation that's ever had before, including smartphones, computers, etc. In an ambitious document published by China's government, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology said their robots will reshape the world. That includes America. The MIT said that by 2025, the product will have reached an advanced level and be mass produced. It made the statements in the development goals listed in its roadmap. They are expected to become more disruptive than computers, smartphones, and electric cars, said a translation of China's government document. Bloomberg said the document was short on details, but very big on ambition. Of course, it's short on details. The Chinese government doesn't want to reveal exactly how they're planning to reshape the world. But some Chinese companies are going to help China and its robotic ambitions. The Chinese startup Fourier Intelligence said it would start mass producing its GR1 humanoid robot um, by the end of last year. So it's mass producing them right now. They're the robots that are being used now in numerous car factories in China. South China Morning Post has said that the company was has a base in Shanghai and it aspired to deliver thousands of robots in 2024 that can move at five kilometers an hour and carry 50 kilograms and that um, don't complain and will work 24 hours a day. Seriously. It's not the only humanoid robot maker that's ramping up efforts with the goal of mass production. The Chinese government is putting a lot of pressure on Chinese robot companies because it knows America is trying to produce their own. Obviously, Elon Musk and Tesla are working very, very hard on their humanoid robots. However, the United States' Agility Robotics is set to open a robot factory actually in Oregon. It's just opened. It will build at that factory thousands of bipedal robots that can mimic human movements, such as walking, crouching, and carrying packages. Amazon is testing Agility Robotics Digit Robot at a research and development center near Seattle to see how it can be used to automate its warehouses. Because Amazon already has robots in their warehouses, but they want better ones. Agility Robotics CEO Damon Shelton said this, it's in the near term. We expect a slow and steady uptick of digit deployments. We believe mass integration will eventually occur, but bipedal robots are still a relatively new advancement. Now getting back to Tesla's bot called Optimus, it still has a long way to go before it's ready for mass production, Musk said back in 2022. However, Tesla have been focusing on their bots. They well know what China is doing. They know that the threat from China is very, very real. There's also another startup called Figure AI, 
which has been valued at 2.6 billion because Jeff Bezos, Amazon, OpenAI, and Nvidia have all joined in to fund this company. Now, the US is very concerned that basically China will have the means to produce millions of robots that will reshape the world and there's not much they can do about it. So they're trying to focus on counteracting China's robotics production. Figure AI is a startup working to build humanoid robots that can perform dangerous and undesirable jobs, or just jobs in general. And it just got a big vote of confidence from some of the biggest names in artificial intelligence. The company said it had raised 700 million at a $2.6 billion valuation from investors, including Jeff Bezos, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Founded in 2022, Figure AI has developed a general purpose robot called Figure 01. It looks and it moves like a human. The company says its robots will be put to use in manufacturing, shipping and logistics, warehousing and retail, where labor shortages are the most severe. Though its machines aren't intended for military or defense applications. Now, realistically, no one knows if China or America will win this race. But I can tell you now, the Chinese government is pushing robotics companies in China very hard and it's giving them billions of dollars in order for it to try and take over the global labor market, or at least to completely dominate manufacturing worldwide. This is kind of a scary proposition. I mean, realistically, could you lose your job to a Chinese robot or to a Tesla robot? You could. I don't think it's a question of will you, it's a question of when. Thanks for watching.